Hey guys, I'm over here in Newport Ritchie today and I'm at, actually at the Starkey Wilderness Park. I've got a reason for that, hang on. But I wanted to show you Newport Ritchie because Newport Ritchie has a ton of affordable houses over here. And when we're looking at the prices going up and up and up in this market, we've got to have some alternatives to Tampa, right? So in this video, I am going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, show you some points of interest and see what you think. So bear with me, it's raining, it's cold. It never does this here in Florida, but you know what? We're going to keep shooting and keep it rolling. So let's get after it right now. All right, so our first property we're gonna take a look at today is over here on Port Douglas Drive in Newport Ritchie, and it is currently listed at 290K. It's a 2-2, two -two. it's about 1,280 square feet. So let's go check it out. So I think that property is really pretty, very clean, under 300,000, and it's in an HOA gated community, and the HOAs are only 220 a month. It has a pool, and like I started at the beginning of the video, it's only five minutes from the Starkey Park, which has an amazing bike trail, and you can also connect it to the Suncoast Trail. So if you're a biker, an outdoors person, you've got that in your backyard practically. So, all right, let's head to the next property. Hey guys, okay, well now we're over at the second property I wanna show you. This property is a 399 .9, and it is a 3-2, and it's hovering right at about 1,900 square feet, and it's in a cute little clean neighborhood, and so let's go take a look at it. For bearing with me guys it is so cold today i can't do these outside but isn't that house lovely especially for under four hundred thousand dollars it's got a ton of space now it is a 1987 build so it would probably need a little bit of remodeling but the kitchen was beautiful and that backyard was amazing so all right let's head to our last property i just want to stop the video real quick to remind you if you have any real estate related questions or needs or anything having to do with real estate market in the central west coast of Florida, I'm your girl. All my contact details are below. Don't forget, you can text me, you can call me, or you can email me and we can set up that consultation. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're here at our final property and I'm just gonna say this little neighborhood is quite stunning. It is back in a gated community off of the main road and it's kind of desolate back here, but it's beautiful. So this property we're about to walk into is only 550. It is 2583 square feet and it's a 3-3 and it has a stunning outdoor area. So yeah, let's go take a look at it right now. Okay, I personally think that was one of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen in the 550K range. That outdoor space is to die for. 
And so it's really kind of blowing my mind what you can get out here in Newport Ritchie if you just go a little bit more inland. And these there's some definitely some beautiful gated communities and some of these houses have been really well cared for and they're spacious and they're quiet. So, hmm, <laughs> Newport Ritchie, let's add it to your list. All right, let me show you now some different parts of Newport Ritchie that you may be curious about, some shopping, the downtown area. Let's go see what we can find out, all right? So one of the cool things about Newport Ritchie, I think, is that it's got this quaint little downtown. There's also a couple of little historic sites, one of which is Ritchie Suncoast Theater. It's a historic former movie theater built in 1925 and later restored for use as a playhouse and community theater. Also, you've got Sims Park, which is really cool. It's got um, Jungle Gym and all that, and it sits right on the river. There's also two really good beaches nearby, Fred Howard Park and Sunset Beach. If you're looking to be closer to the beaches, but you don't necessarily want to drive all the way to Clearwater. There's also the newly renovated Hacienda Hotel, which is pink and very much Floridian. And there's also Anclote Key Preserve State Park. So again, I think Newport Ritchie has a bit of the same feel as say a Palm Harbor and a Tarpon Springs, which would make sense because those are its two most Southern neighborhood kind of cities, right? And again, being in the downtown Newport Ritchie area, you're closer to the water. So you have more of those bayous and opportunity to have Gulf access if you have a boat. Overall, I feel like Newport Ritchie is a fairly normal suburban area. It's got a little bit more restaurant appeal in the downtown area. And as far as shopping, I couldn't really find a Target nearby. The closest Target is in Trinity as well as the Walmart. So you're gonna have some strip malls with some little shops in them, but for your big box shopping, you're probably gonna have to go a little bit more south into some of the bigger areas. Definitely along US 19, you're gonna find the bigger strip malls that have a little bit more to offer as far as shopping goes. Also a fun fact, Johnny Cash used to live in Newport Ritchie. My dog is named Johnny Cash. He goes by Cash. Family ties brought Cash to Port Ritchie where his mother-in-law, country singer monarch Maybell Carter owned the Riverside House on Sunset Boulevard. Cash and his wife, June Carter Cash, inherited the property in 1979, a year after Maybell died. I had no idea. So there's a lot of rich history here in Newport Ritchie, and I think it's worth a shot. And there's definitely a lot of affordable housing here and you can get a lot for your money. So I think you need to check it out. So I hope you liked this video. If so, I think you're gonna like these up here as well. And I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.